Welcome to my tutorial. My name is uh, Pippen, and uh, I will uh, show you this tutorial of basic programming skills in Visual Basic using Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Okay, so uh, I'm starting a new project called uh, Test. Uh, I will change the name down here, Test, and uh, I will uh, use the Windows Forms application. Uh, you don't have to change anything. You can change uh, what uh, ground we can use, but I want to use uh, .NET Framework 4 because it's the newest. So uh, and don't have to change anything else here. So okay. And uh, now uh, Visual Studio has created a basic form layout for me, which I can change like this uh, how I want. Let's uh, let's just have it like this, and uh, let's uh, oh, wait. let's uh, double click. Oh, wait. Let's uh, change it back to uh, starting position 300, 300 like that. And this is how much pixels in each uh, x and y. And so I change the uh, y uh, value by 150, and it will uh, decrease by 150. So, uh, but uh, let's change it back to 300. So it's a square, uh, and this is down in the properties. I can change the size. I can change the text. Uh, the text is this uh, form one. I will change this to test. And uh, now let's see what else can we do in this. We can go to back color, uh, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, change it to blue, like that. And uh, we can cha uh, change it back. Okay. And uh, here we have a name of the form, and uh, this is uh, the one that uh, we are going to use. Okay. So uh, I want button uh, on my form uh, so I will drag it like this and create it so now there is a button here on my form and uh, this is uh, my design uh, this is uh, you can use anything in here to drag and drop uh, but uh, for now I will just create a button for this tutorial so uh, let's uh, double click here then it will create this private sub form one load by clicking on the form one background it opens this uh, sub form one load uh, automatically uh, and this uh, will describe what will happen when the form one starts when the program starts so uh, i want to open the button one also so uh, the private sub button one click this will uh, describe what will happen when you uh, click on the button okay so uh, now uh, we have you see here these are privates so they can only be used inside this and this is public but uh, we don't have anything else so this doesn't matter for now let's uh, uh, let's talk about variables so uh, to declare a variable I have to use dim and uh, I have to uh, describe what a variable is. Variable is uh, basically an uh, an empty uh, an empty thing that uh, we give different values depending on what uh, properties we give it. So uh, basically, if we want it to be uh, text, we can do so. Or if we want it to be numbers, we can do so or if we want it to be a flag that is true, uh, raised or uh, down, we, we will do so. I will show you uh, how we will do all the, those three variables now. So the first one uh, with numbers it's called integers. I will call it int for short. Integer. So I will uh, I mean like this. Uh, I can also define it uh, if I want, but I don't want to do that right now. Let's just uh, define it uh, as a default. So now we set dim int as integer. <coughs> so an integer, integer can be any uh, any whole number like one, two, three, four, five, 
minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Uh, but it can't be any decimal numbers. So uh, I will uh, come back to uh, that uh, variable later. So uh, integers are just for whole numbers. And uh, let's go to the next sort of variable. Uh, <coughs> I will uh, describe the boolean uh, variable now. And the short bool. And so you see uh, this, which is the name of a variable, int and bool. As it, uh, this is the type of a variable. So this is an integer, and uh, this will be a, a boolean, like that. So uh, a boolean uh, is a, a variable that you can uh, see as a flag. Uh, if uh, the variable is if a, if a flag is raised then that means that the variable equals to true so and that means if the flag is down the variable equals to false. So we use uh, booleans to check if uh, an event has happened or uh, haven't happened. Okay, and now I will describe uh, how we can use text in uh, these uh, containers. Uh, so, uh, and the container is just uh, sort of, uh, is, uh, is every sort of variables. Uh, so let's name it uh, string, st uh, string, or shortest st string, and uh, as string. So a uh, string is a line of uh, characters, uh, like uh, 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 lock down ghost is awesome. So if you do if you do this string equals uh, this, then uh, the, this value that is uh, between the nuts are uh, now uh, declared to this string. So uh, if you call if you um, if you call this string variable, you will get that value. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do when we form uh, uh, loads? Let's uh, set some our uh, our variables to some values. So let's set int equals to one, and the bool equals to false. No, let's set true. Let's set true, and uh, string equals to uh, empty. Okay. So now, when uh, the form loads, it will set these values to our variables. <coughs> and uh, so, okay, now we want something to happen. Uh, when we click the button, we would like uh, the, uh, the forms, the color, me. Me is used to... Uh, uh, it is uh, it is this form form one me uh, so me dot uh, back color equals and just yes, choose a color aqua uh, we so we change when we click we change uh, the back color and uh, let's change the text also. Uh, Uh, yeah, yes. So uh, let's change the text of uh, this text equals to string, and let's change the button button one dot text 
equals string. Okay, <coughs> so now when I click the button, the back color of the form will change to aqua, and uh, the the text, uh, uh, this test, it will change to the string, and the string is empty. So it will say empty here, and it will say empty here. So let's see. Mm, if we run, if it does that, we we'll press, and it says empty, and it's aqua, and it's empty here. And it won't do anything now because it's already set these to those values. Okay, so let's do something that uh, can change <coughs> every time you click the button. And uh, now we will use the uh <coughs> we will use uh, the int and the bool variables also. Uh, so far, we have only used the string variable. So let's see if uh, bool equals to true. So uh, what that means? It means that. Uh, if this uh, boolean, uh, if this flag is raised, then we will jump into here and do the things that is inside, like that. So if the flag is raised, then it will do this, and we want to do something when it is. <coughs> uh, oh wait, it has to be inside it. <coughs> So, <coughs> uh, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> as if boo equals to false. So, uh, what we do here is, uh, if a if a flag is raised, then do this. If a flag isn't raised, then do this. And we will put this in here. Okay. So, uh, 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 let's put this to zero. So, <coughs> here, uh, to change this, we will do, uh, for, to change the variable uh, int, uh, we add one to it each time. So, this this means that it's uh, it's one from the start. It comes in. Oh, it's zero from the start. It adds one, so it's one. Oh, oh wait, it shouldn't be. Okay, it should be one. So it's one, and it adds one. So uh, what this means, it's. Uh, oh, it, sh it shouldn't be like this. It should be zero, and this should be in the start. Okay. 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 So like this. <coughs> so it's zero, and this, if it's true, then it goes into here, and oh wait, we, we it, it shouldn't be inside here. It should be here, because we want it to increase each time we click the button. So each time we click the button, this integer variable will increase, and. Uh, as it increases, it uh, counts how many times the button has been clicked, and uh, uh, as it increases, uh, it will count how many times it has clicked, and then we will check if uh, if this variable is if this flag is up or if it's down. So if it's up, we want it to be this color. If it's down, we want it to be this color. Let's change it to. Uh, uh, what color? Let's do a red. And then we want this, the text. We want the text to change also. So, uh, but we don't need to do it inside here every time. So let's do this. We move it outside and set it here. And let uh, the <coughs> uh, equal to the string plus. And then we want it to be convert convert dot to string and then we take the int value so this this means that you take the string oh wait uh, okay okay I'm uh, thinking this wrong uh, okay 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 
no uh, I need to do this we need to change the string value the string value it should be now we are going to change this we will change it to button clicked equals to then we want to have this counter value we want to add that and this I uh, this one uh, like that so this string it will change each time each time we click here this one will increase one uh, this int and this uh, stri string will uh, count uh, it will display how many times we have clicked so uh, the strings and then we will read this string into the text and then here if uh, we are checking if a flag is raised then uh, we shall uh, put this color and if we have put that color we want to uh, we want to take down the flag so we set we set the variable to false and uh, then next time we click it will go into it will it won't go into this because the bool value is false so it will go into this because bool is false then we want to then it changes the color but uh, we want it to change the bool also so we set this to true now okay so what this program does it does that every time we click the button it will count how many times we have clicked and it will display in the button text and in the form text how many times we have clicked uh, it will do it in these two and it will check if uh, the color is aqua so then it's going to uh, if the color is aqua then it's going to change it to red and if it's red it's going to change it to aqua and it will do so how many times uh, as it can okay so let's run this program see here it's the basic so we have clicked once and we have uh, the aqua color push again we get the red color too and three aqua and four red and we can do this forever <coughs> and so uh, and it will count how many times we have clicked okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed this first uh, tutorial and uh, I hope you will be back for more because this was only the first basic of the basic and thank you and goodbye